Hi, my name is Will Swisher. I'm seven years old, and I want to know how rockets get past our atmosphere. My name is Jim Lattice. I'm the director of the UW Space Place. Rockets that are launching things into space, satellites, let's say, uh, into space, or space probes to go off somewhere else in the solar system, um, do have to get past the Earth's atmosphere, but they don't have any trouble doing it, really. The atmosphere is the biggest problem. Rockets uh, encounter most of the resistance to their motion uh, near the Earth's surface, and the higher up they get, the thinner the air gets, and so the resistance uh, gets lower. So it actually gets easier for a rocket engine that's lifting some heavy weight into space. It gets easier as it, as it gets higher. There is um, something that you commonly see, though, that tells you that there's a lot of work going on closer to the Earth's surface than higher up, and that is that as, the, as a rocket typically burns up its uh, fuel, it's the, it's the fuel that's actually propelling the, the rocket um, uh, away from the Earth, and it burns up the fuel so more and more, basically the gas tank gets emptier and emptier. Usually there are two tanks, and they're both largely empty by the time you would get high above the Earth's um, surface. And at that point, the engine is doing more work just to left, lift the empty uh, gas tanks and the empty uh, and the and the engines um, than it is to move the payload. And so rockets are designed in stages, so that there's what they usually call a booster stage or the first stage that is largely emptied and then discarded before the payload actually goes into orbit. And then there's a second engine and fuel stage, the second stage or um, uh, maybe even sometimes a third stage, depending on just what they're doing. Um, so it gets a little bit complicated uh, in, in part because of all the work that the, that the rocket engine has to do near the Earth's surface, but it actually gets easier as they get higher rather than harder.